what's something that's illegal now, but used to be perfectly normal? Used to buy dynamite at the hardware store. My dad and I used it to remove stumps. Sending your kids to the store to buy cigarettes. Cigarette vending machines. No age restriction, just drop a couple of quarters in and pull the handle. Smoking at school. My HS had a smoking area for students. Dosing your baby with OTC laudanum so you can go out dancing all night. Or so my grandmother said a couple of flappers overdosed their babies and they stopped selling laudanum in the drugstore. The ingredients in cough syrup at the beginning of the 1900s. Public executions. Our high school had a rifle club in school. Kids kept their .22s in their lockers. Edit not saying rifle teams are now illegal. Bringing guns into school and storing them in a locker is what is now verboten. And I'm not from a particularly rural area. Lead paint and asbestos in housing. I can remember when it was perfectly normal for someone to leave their kids in the car doors unlocked and windows open while they went inside a business. No one gave it a second thought. Smoking indoors. Driving around without a seatbelt. Hell, when I was a kid, it was common to find rear seatbelts weren't even fitted. My dad bought them separately and fitted them himself a couple of times. Drinking and driving. Riding around town in the back of a pickup truck. I'm someone who won't take my car out of park if all the seatbelts aren't fastened, but as a kid I would jump at the chance to ride in the truck bed. Lawn darts. Not wearing a seatbelt. People used to make fun of you for wearing one. When you picked someone up at the airport, you used to be able to walk right up to where they got off the plane. Driving with no seatbelt. Driving while talking on the phone. Driving with no car seat for a child. Spankings in school, including with paddles. Dueling. Does anyone remember the 90s when mooning was a thing? I remember my mom driving down the highway and my brother and I laughing hysterically at some random guy who was mooning us out his window. I don't know if it's illegal now, but I think mooning would be perceived a lot differently these days. Edit all of your mooning stories are warming my heart. Owning fully automatic firearms. Prior to the National Firearms Act of 1934, anyone was allowed to own full automatic firearms in the states. A.K.A. machine guns. Owning other humans. Historically in France, you could rape a woman and say but she's so beautiful how could I not, I'm only a man after all and they'd go well you best marry her now naturally the men would say well. If I must own this beautiful woman, if you're forcing me to, I guess I'll put up with it. Horrendous. Taking guns to school. It used to be common for students to have a gun rack in their truck. So much pollution. People used to change the oil on their car and dump it down storm drains or pour into a hole in the ground. Old bottles of pills got thrown in the trash. So much aerosol hairspray. Commercially, we dumped so much chemical waste into rivers they started catching on fire, started burning through the ozone layer, super fun sites, list goes on and on. Chucking the kids into the tray of the ute or back of the station wagon and driving around town. Exposed hair in Iran. Coke in Coke. Smoking opium opium dens. Plenty of drugs that are banned today were commonly used throughout history though I suppose. Cocaine and heroin for example. Adults marrying teenagers. Younger than she are happy mothers made. Paris, Romeo, and Juliet, Act 1, Scene 2. Juliet is not quite 14. She's an 8th grader. Letting kids walk to school or other places by themselves. The first time I heard about parents being arrested for this I thought well, this is a one-off bizarre thing where we don't have all the facts. But I've seen it happen too often now and it blows my mind. I was walking a mile to school by myself in kindergarten and it was not only normal, but expected back then. Not one of my classmates had a parent drop them off at school. Cocaine. Used to be in everything, 
and I think it's time we brought it back. Caffeine isn't kicking the way it needs to. Marital Rape Being a latchkey kid. Growing up I had so many friends that would get home alone only for their parts to come home two or three hours later. Actually just saw somebody on this site who apparently called CPS on this recently. Lobotomies. You suffer from nightmares, headaches, or depression? We'll just slice a chunk out of your frontal lobe and call it a day. Smoking in restaurants. Privately owning slaves. The state can still own slaves. Choosing a new identity, moving anywhere you want and starting over. Also, being able to avoid that. Taking corporal punishment beyond a certain level. The level my parents and their contemporaries experienced as normal would certainly be considered illegal levels of abuse today.